Hey everybody, F-Bomb Fitzgerald here, and today I want to add my voice to the growing chorus of content creators asking Valve to save TF2. Hopefully our combined voices are enough to get their attention so they can bring Thank back the game that we love good. so much. Okay. There's so much I want to talk about on this topic today, but in the interest of time, I was going to lead off with what I was hoping the community would do with this event, and then talk about what I want Valve to do with this event, and then talk about my own relationship with TF2, and why I think it's imperative that Valve do something with this crisis. So addressing the community of TF2 players first, I'm asking all of you to please contact Valve in a respectful manner, and there's a few easy ways you can do it. The way that I recommend is just googling email Valve, and it'll take you to a website where you can write to any member of the Valve team. I recommend Gabe Newell for visibility, or Dario Casali as one of the main folks who have worked on TF2 in the last couple of years. I know it's an ongoing joke that only three programmers work at Valve, and one is a janitor and one is a plant. Um, but really, I think taking the time to, to send just a quick, respectful email to Valve is an easy and effective way to let them know that we're paying attention. Another way you can contact Valve is through Twitter, um, directly addressing their account. I'll put that in the description as well. But the basic idea here is if we just complain to each other about a problem, it's not going to go anywhere. Whereas if we address Valve in a respectful manner that they can't ignore, and there's enough of us doing it, beyond the bad press, maybe somebody will listen to us. And I think we do have a strong argument to make. I will lay that out a little bit later on. I do want to stress, though, that we need to be respectful and not toxic in any way uh, because that's the easiest way for them to ignore us. If you send a angry email or an angry letter or an angry phone call um, and your tone is off, people are just going to ignore you and I can't blame them for doing that. Now I want to switch gears and address what I would tell Valve and go ahead and reuse any of these arguments if you agree with them when you contact Valve. But my most basic argument that I'm making to Valve is TF2 has too many players and generates way too much revenue for them, for them to ignore it and not give it the basic quality of life that it deserves. Now, some people will focus on things like the age of the game and the fact that many games that are 15 years old don't get any support, etc. I think that that all misses the point. And really, from a business case, uh, it's just insane that a developer would have 70,000 unique players playing every day, generating this amount of millions of dollars off of microtransactions, and not make it at least playable. Because right now in 2022, TF2 is not playable in its base state. Now, I have a few suggestions for how Valve could address this, either in a comprehensive way or even just a patch. Um, but before I talk about those, I just wanted to state that case. And I feel like as consumers, as users of the Steam platform, hell, in some cases, as people who paid money for the Orange Box or TF2 before it went free to play, we deserve a game that is playable. I don't think that's unreasonable. And honestly, that's all we're asking for. We're not asking for weapon rebalances. We're not asking for new MVM campaigns. We're not asking for the heavy update. Literally, we just want to play the game without having to spend three hours re-queuing to finally get a match that doesn't have bots in it. I bet several other content creators are going to make an emotional pitch about why we need to save TF2, about all the hours of enjoyment it's brought to them, how much it's meant to them. Hell, I have 5,000 hours in game, and this is by far my favorite video game of all time. I mean, the fact that I even have a channel on this speaks to how much I care about the game. But at the end of the day, even if this wasn't one of the greatest games of all time, which it is, even if it wasn't a Valve developed game, which is synonymous with Valve, which it also is, just from a purely business standpoint, if you said there was a game with this many players generating this much money, 
and the developers refuse to make it even playable, you would think that's insane. Hell, you might tell the developer, give the game to a different developer who will at least support it. And I think that's kind of where we're at at this stage with the game, where, you know, you can talk trash about other developers, but none of them have an IP like TF2 that they have allowed to fester like this. Uh, so let's be a little bit more productive here real fast. What am I asking Valve to do? One incredibly easy solution would just to be institute a CAPTCHA. Literally, incredibly easy way to prove that you're human. That would take care of a good chunk of the bots. It's not hard to do. My local bank, who has a website from the 90s, literally has a CAPTCHA. And Valve has got some of the most talented programmers in the world. I'm sure they can figure something like that out. What am I asking you, the viewer, and the community to do? Well, if you've got social media like Twitter or Facebook, reach out to Valve in a polite manner. And if you don't, go ahead and email Valve off of their webpage. But for all of our sakes, I just ask you, show Valve that we care, do it in a polite manner, and with any luck, maybe they'll take some pity on us and at least put an extra plant on the developer team. Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble. If you enjoyed this and my background footage, or heck, just want to support a small channel, I encourage you to subscribe because I put out a lot of content and I want to share it with more people. Hope you're doing great. Um, thank you to everybody who reaches out to Valve, and thank you to the strong community. I love you all. Bye.